Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we're going to be looking at Yeah Buddy's GM Workhorse, which is essentially his take on a Silverado 4500 HD, both in a 4x4 trim and a 6x6 trim. Now, this truck is specifically designed to be able to absolutely decimate the campaign mode. So essentially, any hauling task that you might have on the table, or really even recovery or rescue task uh, for that matter, this is designed to be able to look at it, accept it, and destroy it. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get this thing in the garage, see what you can do in terms of customization, and then of course put it through some tests. And we're not only going to be doing this with the 4x4 version, but we're also going to be checking out the 6x6 version as well. But let's go ahead and fire it up! It sounds incredible. And a little side note about a lot of Yabuddy's yeah mods, if you're not aware, is that when you hit the horn button, you also essentially, instead of having a horn, hitting the horn button makes it rev the engine, which I think is really, really cool because as you can see, when you put it in neutral to rev it, it only really revs to kind of like a lower RPM. It doesn't give you a full rev. So, and that's for every vehicle in SnowRunner. So let's go ahead and head into the garage. Beautiful interior, by the way. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. Now, the customization on this thing has me really excited because when you first jump into the garage, you can see it's actually very, uh, it, it's almost vanilla level in terms of the stock power. I mean, you've got a C power to weight rating. Now, when you go to the mid option, that's going to give you an S plus and it's probably going to be a kind of a vanilla-ish plus, kind of like, you know, a little bit over the stock trucks, kind of an upgrade, but not necessarily like insanely powerful. And then there's this one, which is the most powerful towing performance engine, which that one is designed to probably pull buildings over, I would assume. Now, stock, highway, and off-road, obviously, we're going to have to play around with it a little bit to find out what the different gear ratio options are within each of those transmissions. But for this one, I'm going to go with the highway transmission because I'm fairly certain that even though it's a highway transmission, it will still have the low range options. Now, suspension wise, you have mid tow, mid active tow, workhorse lift tow, and trail soft. So if you want to use this thing as a trail riding rig, you can totally still do that. The option is still there for you. Now, let's see. I think I want to try out the workhorse lift tow because that's absolutely massive. I mean, it's gigantic, but at the same time, I really like the idea of the mid active tow. So let's see how big, let's see how big we can make the tires and then we'll decide if we want to go with the massive lift. Now, obviously with it being a YB truck, you're going to have so many different tire options that you could literally spend an insane amount of time in here going through your tire options. It's just, it's that wild. Now, let's see. A 52s? All right. I'm going to want the lift kit, I think. Yeah, I mean, it looks a little crazy with the 35s, but man, once you get down into the 52s, thing is huge, dude. Absolutely, like, enormous. Now, let's see. I love the fact that you could do a 52-inch, like, stock tire. I feel like, now granted, you know, stock, air quotes there. I mean, your stock tire is going to be a BFG mud terrain in this instance, but it still looks insane. I want to see what that looks like just outside the garage. That is gigantic. Holy crap. That is absolutely massive. Although, to be fair, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap it over to the active lift tow. And we're probably going to go with like a 40-ish. Because while the 52s are absolutely tremendous and really fun to play around with and to look at, I feel like, you know, if we're designing this truck to what I would really love it to be, um, I think the mid-active tow and a 41-inch tire is going to be really like a nice happy medium for it. So let's do 41 inch on the stocks and we'll do mid active toe. I love the way that looks. Now let's see, winch wise, you get one option and then gooseneck hitch, definitely going in the back. You could black out the grill, which I think looks sick. And then, ooh, you could bronze the grill as well. Hitch on the back, chase rack. Oh, you actually have a proper chase rack for this thing? That's sick. And it actually doesn't really look like it interferes with the, um, uh, the, the toe hitch at all, like the gooseneck hitch. Black out the trim. And bronze trim, you can also do front weight, which honestly, I feel like that's probably going to be one of the better options. And let's see, bed-wise, you got bed stock, bed stakes, and then work bed. 
Whoa! The work bed comes with freaking spares and a welder. That is... That is insane. Okay, I, I'm all about that. That's wild. Now, as far as bumper options go, you pretty much have whatever you would like to throw on the front end of this thing. I really dig the body armor front bumper. I like the look. Now, let's see. Bed stuff side steps okay the bed stuff kind of conflicts with the chase rack a little bit but that's really no big deal got the side steps which those are some beefy side steps though headlights headlights blacked out headlights bronze and headlights white okay i think i'm gonna black out the headlights and let's see rectangular light bar that can go up top wheels wise stock one and ooh, so you can actually do different types of stock wheels i really like these these are a little bit more of like an alcoa style wheel so let's see what we can do in terms of colors i mean obviously these colors are all gonna have a very deep you know high contrast very bright look and i really dig the idea that he's going for with these i like the tan the tan actually looks pretty sick I like the light blue as well. There's really no color that I can find on this thing that doesn't look amazing. I like the white, actually. The white combined with, like, the blacked out... Ooh, let's see. Bubble Dar. Ah, we'll throw Bubble Dar in there. And I like the white combined with, like, the blacked out grill and headlights. I think that looks really, really good. Come on. Fire up. Let's go. I love the, like, working LEDs up top on the chase rack as well. It looks so sick. All right, I need to kind of center myself here, and that way we can get a fairly long trailer behind this thing. Gonna throw something properly heavy on the six unit. I'm gonna try to, anyway. Yo, you can do the IX-8 slot tag behind. That's so good. There's also the Z2 Horizon trailer. Just about every trailer that you might want to throw in here, it's in here. Let's see, more eight slot tag behind stuff. So many options, dude. The Pog trailers, the IX trailers. You'll never run out of options with stuff to tow with this thing. You will literally never, ever, ever run out of options. And, oh, dude, the 41s with that particular active suspension are pretty much the perfect size for the 6-unit gooseneck. Also, I have to move the 6x6 because the 6x6 is moderately in the way of my loading area right now. But that's okay. All right, let's hop back into the 6x6. And let's see what kind of weight we can throw on this thing. Long planks looks sick now let's see stage two fuel tank we can do two of those that's a pretty decent amount of weight right there not bad though it's certainly not struggling at all now i know that we're on the top engine tune and that i'm sure has a you know that plays a role that is a factor obviously but still i dig it i freaking love it now since we have the dev tools here as an option i wonder if i could find where the okay trim trim black what about trim bronze let's see weight work bed grill hold on grill bronze it's okay i don't know how i feel about it you know what i mean i i really i really don't know how i feel about it like i kind of like it but i think if i was gonna run it i would like to run it with a different uh, like a different setup, you know what I mean? So let's see. Standard grill in white. Yeah, that looks that looks a lot better, and I feel like it really ties this color scheme together a lot better. But I do like the bronze trim. Ironically enough, I think the bronze trim looks really good with this particular build. Send you around this way. Whoa! Y'all know what back trail we're heading to to test this thing. Oh my god, this thing is so sick looking. Look at that freaking look at that that is nuts that is absolutely incredible bro like i i cannot get over like not only how good it looks but the ease of its performance i mean it pulls a load like this like it's not even like it's not even having to work at it i mean it's literally it pulls it like it's just eh, it's just like right there it's no big deal no big deal it's just it's just there it's just behind me not really having anything to worry about whatsoever god it's such a great looking truck too i'm like i really want to get like a good photo of the thing yeah there we go god i love the way this thing looks dude i love the way this truck looks oh my god saving that for sure all right let's go ahead and send it into this mud pit real quick whoa getting rid of the tools i want to be able to have a full view of the screen all right let's say low plus see what you got 
because there will be maps that you will run into that are going to have obstacles just like this one. And, I mean, it flew through that with flying colors in low plus, not even like standard low. I mean, if you want more traction, just lift off the throttle a little bit. You know, varying your, your throttle pressure, that's going to be all you'll have to do. Literally, that's going to be all you're going to have to do. All right, time to send it down the mud trail. Let's get on after it. Come on. Literally, the only thing you ever have to do when this thing slows down is back off the throttle a little bit in low plus, and it regains traction immediately. And it's insane. It's absolutely bonkers the level of traction that this thing can actually manage with weight behind it, I might add. I mean, this thing was built to be worked. Like, what we're doing with it right now is genuinely what it was built for, and it was built to be able to demolish the campaign mode on pretty much every level. And we haven't even checked out the 6x6 version yet, which we are about to, by the way. So let's make it just a little bit further on. Yeah, this thing has no issues at all making it through muddy back trails like this. I mean, this is the stuff you're going to find in, you know, the Michigan maps, the Wisconsin maps, even in like the Tamir maps, you're going to have trails like this. And this thing just blew through it with no issues at all. Now, it's time to get into the other variant of the workhorse, and that's going to be the 6x6. Now, this one, you don't mess with this one. This one is literally the one that can... I, honestly, you could probably finish a campaign map entirely in like an hour. <laughs> and i that's not an exaggeration. Now, let's see. Let's throw two units of wooden planks in the back. Okay. So now that we've done that, if we were to go hook up an IX-8 slot behind this thing, you'd have 10 usable units of cargo. 10! That's so much. I mean... Not only is it so much, but it's so much cargo space that's actually usable. So let's do the top engine in this one, highway transmission. And let's see, it does have all the suspension options that the other one has. And I really like the mid-active tow kit. And the mid-active tow kit is probably my favorite on this entire truck. Gonna go with the 41-inch option again on this one. And this time, we're gonna do the 41-inch generic off-road duels. Because I really like the fuel wheels that this thing has. Now, you could do a gooseneck hitch in the back. You could do a crane. You could do log carriers. You could do a log loader crane. A flatbed. Okay, this is this is equipped to literally be everything. Everything. Literally. Everything you could ever freaking need. Metal detector module. IM-50 loading crane. Saddle high, saddle low. So, it could do... Essentially, it could do even your, like, your semi-truck work. Wow. All right, hold on. We got to throw the front weight on this thing because I just got very, very excited about something. Very excited about something. So let's see. Saddle high. Can we take the, can we take like the sideboard bed off that it's got on it right now? Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Um, saddle low takes it off, but saddle high does not. That may, that may be something that he'll be able to kind of, you know, work out later on down the road in further development, but let's throw the metal detector module on and the saddle high and actually, no, you know what? IM50 loading crane and saddle high will do. And let's see. Oh, bed stakes. So you can take them off. Okay. So that's, that was my bad on that one. We're going to do the, what bumper do we want on this one? I think I might do... Oh, God, what do I want? I might do this one. Uh, I'll do I'll do bumper number two. That one actually looks pretty sick. So let's see. Side steps. What are the side steps on this one just to have them? Roof lights. Rectangular light bar could definitely go up there. Fuel full-blowns are already on and good to go. We're going to paint this one red. And then, because I, I really like the way this one looks in red. It looks so sick in red. Bobble dar is going on the inside. And now, we're going to throw some kind of super heavy trailer behind this truck and see how it responds to it. I love the fact that you can have like the loading crane on it too. The loading crane is probably one of the most practical add-ons you could ever have, like in the entire game. All right, so let me back up just a hair. All right, so that should allow me to have a decent amount of room. Now, let's see what we can actually find in terms of, okay, there's heavy construction equipment, heavy oil tank, gooseneck eight, gooseneck for rocket, oil rig, I love the oil rig, uh, the rocket trailer, the oil refinery. The oil refinery is like obviously comically huge, 
but I think we're gonna try the oil rig this time because it's the same trailer base and it's just a little bit less cumbersome. Bro, it's like it ain't even there. It literally is like it's not even there behind this thing. I mean, now granted, this is probably one of the most beefed up 6x6s you're ever gonna find and we're not even running the biggest tire option, but it is just, I mean, you can tell that there's something back there. You can tell that it's working at it, but it's not in any way, shape, or form acting like it's struggling in any way. I mean, it's like, yeah, stay on the job. No big deal. And really, that, uh, a piece of that barrier fell onto my hood and just, like, flopped down and stayed there. What the heck? All right. Come on. There you go. Throw the fuel and boost at it thing freaking sends dude what the absolute level of send that you can be at at all times is just it's insanity we're in high by the way and going through like the shallow mud it's like this is fine this is fine this is all fine it's all good don't worry about it we're 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 set we're good all right easy it actually started to really, like, start ripping there in high range. Oh, boy. Come on. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There she goes. It's certainly not slow, but then when you put it into automatic mode, it's even faster. Do not. Oh, that was my bad. 100% my bad. Yep. I oofed it. Yep. Hammond moment. Come on. Pull me back over. Oh, come on, winch. I know you've got it in you to do this. I know you've got it in you to do this. I know you can. I don't... I, I know you can. Don't sit there and tell me that you can't. Because I know you can. There we go. This would be such an amazing time to have dual winch points. I know that that's not really, like, possible with this physics system. But it would certainly be an amazing thing to have. Now that everything's in a line together, we should be able to winch the trailer over. Oh, like right when it starts up. Yeah, okay. Nope. You know what we're going to do? We're going to do this the simple way, and we're going to winch it back onto its way. Y'all knew there was going to be one rollover. There had to be. I mean, it is, after all, a TC video. All right, let's go ahead and repair and refuel. And I'm going to get up towards the bridge jump. We're going to throw another trailer behind it, because why not? And literally, it'll be saved in the dev menu, so... Yeet! She good to go! Also, let's make it a little bit less gloomy. There you go! A little bit less gloomy outside for this full send down the bridge. Oh, God. Well, this is gonna be fun, isn't it? This is gonna be absolutely hilarious. Oh, God. Come on. Nice and easy. Oh, no. Oh, it actually like, pulled the uh, freaking tires off the ground. I can get out of first person now because I can see and go! You know? It still drives and it's still fine. But if y'all enjoyed this look at Yeah Buddy's Workhorse, please let me know your thoughts and opinions on it in the comment section down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to y'all later and I hope you guys enjoyed.